What's up, fellas? This is the Game Hunter with another episode of Cobra Kai Car Fighter. Today, we're gonna analyze our opponents because knowing your enemy is so important for you to be successful in this game. All right, so let's get into Cobra Kai. Of course, let's go there. We got some uh, rewards. Yeah, let's go with the video game. I'm sorry, <laughs> I cannot skip that. I'm collecting so many cards that I need to do go. all the mini games. Let's do this right now, live. See, this is how easy they are. That's it. That's it. Who say that these mini games are tough? Oh, only eight. Oh, hmm. okay. For a second, I thought I have two fighters uh, collecting cards, but I remember that the last one was Aisha. That's it. I didn't have enough energy to put the other one so that's not a problem we're just gonna put a isha um putting a isha and also i'm putting bird i would love to start upgrading bird at one point and that mountain punch is so powerful yeah it's gonna take me a long time to get stingray so let's just go with this all right so know your enemy know your opponent it's critical because if you know what the, the combination of your opponent can do, if you know uh, the kind of wild cards that your opponent has, well, you can start planning accordingly for each battle. For example, if we go and take a look to Miguel, we already know that the special combo is kick, punches, and kick, right? And when we start upgrading Miguel, the bonus is gonna go for kicks. So, yeah, I, I, I always strongly recommend you to at least keep one card that is not part of your your main combo just for defensive purposes for example in this case uh, I, in this deck that I have with Miguel I do not have any grabs I only have punches and kicks but maybe it's not a bad idea to have one grab so we can use it only against an opponent that has a final kick as a finisher right like like miguel right <laughs> otherwise it, it, it's kind of tough because um you always gonna need to play around thinking when he's gonna try to land the final combo and, and and that's why you need to be prepared always have like an extra car for you to as a lifesaver for example for for robbie we know grab grabs and punch um, i'm sorry and kicks are the main combo if I'm not wrong, Robbie doesn't have any punches on his deck. At least the, the one by default, right? So, yeah, so punches will be a killer for Robbie. So, again, knowing the opponent is so important. So then you can plan accordingly during the fight. For example, we got this combo for Mitch. It's grab, punch, and kick. It's, it's difficult because it has three different cards. It's difficult for Mitch to land it. And it's difficult for you as a player to defend against Mitch because, well, you might need to have the three cards to get it to be able to survive, right? Uh, Sam is one of the more powerful characters as far as I can read in the comments of my videos and also in social media. Uh, and another thing that is important is that Samantha has a combo punch, kick, and grab. Grab at the end. There is many characters that have a kick as the last one it's the last uh, part of the combo so having Samantha with grab at the end is it's kind of like a plus yeah because you have a good chances you got some good chances to counter a big combo and also land your grab right okay and also if you can see the damage bonus that Samantha is getting is for grabs and punches it's getting bonuses for two different ones okay it's, it's it's insane for for Miguel. It's only kicks, right? It's getting the bonus in kicks for Robbie. If I not run, it's kicks only. But uh, if we take a look to some other, for example, I got Mitch, got bonuses in kicks and punches. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Also, let's take a look to Aisha because Aisha had bonus in grabs, three grabs. That's why Aisha is my favorite one. That's the one that I've been using. Again, having a character with a grab at the end, it works good for me because. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Miguel players, so having Aisha is allowing me to counter them 
without any problem. Uh, Bird is another one that is annoying, and it has also the three cards on his deck, so that could be trouble. And also, one more time, it's important to take a look to the decks, okay? Because if you take a look, for example, Bird deck, all right, the wild cards that you can face in the first levels are health boost, energy boost, opportunistic, and exhaustion, right? Uh, opportunist is the one that is giving you the uh, you can gain some life if you use a wild card in the next round an exhaustion if a no run is the one that is uh, making that the opponent need to play one more energy to pay for the cards in the next round okay but the other wild cards are blocked but let's take a look to mitch mitch has counter strike counter strike is tremendous counter strike one of my favorite wild cards it's, it's just so good so good to be able to to respond to any punches, any final punch, and just deliver a counter strike and deliver all the damage back to the opponent. That's why counter strike is one of my favorite ones. Uh, we're gonna make an special episode talking about all the different wild cards, but for now, I just wanna show you that all the different characters, I mean, all the characters have uh, different wild cards that they can access in the early uh, level. So getting to know those is very important for you to be successful in the game. Okay, let's go to a fight against Mitch. Mitch is a tough one. Has some punch, it has some grabs. Let's see how many grabs do you have. Six grabs. Oof. And you start with a grab. Okay, let's let's start with this. Let's analyze round our opponent fight. in the first round, right? Okay. Start with a grab, that's good. Okay. And what is the final? It's a kick. That's not good because it's the same card that I'm using to, to do my finisher combos, so could be trouble. But you're gonna land a full combo? Score. Okay. So it is, it could be tricky. It could be really tricky. All right, so we can start with some energy. Mm, let's start with this. All right, one more time. Let's go Round. slow Fight. at the beginning. Counter strike Score. so deadly. See, this is exactly what I was telling you, fellas. Gotta be careful with that. Okay. Score. He's taking his time to perform different punches. Okay. I can go with the. These two. Fight. Start with a strike hard. Okay. Let's see if you land in a, a punch. Okay, that's Score. good. That's a big blow. On the last one, let's see if it's high. Yeah, that's too many kicks. All right, so I try. I need to avoid those grabs. There's too many of those. <laughs> there are too many. Okay, uh, well, we can uh, we can try to do a, a full combo here. So many graphs, it's not funny. Let's let's go with this. Uh, let's go with these two. Round fight. Okay. Amplifying the damage. Gotta be careful with those uh, counter strike. Counter strike can be. Could be the last one. Draw. Ooh. Okay. And the last one is uh score. Okay. That's good. All right, we we got the advantage at this moment. Hmm. Fight. Save the energy for later. Draw. Punch, okay. So you start just you already start a couple rounds with a punch. That's interesting. Score. You need to pay attention to that. We tie a 30. And now we got a 7 damage that's going your way. Regardless. Score. Okay. We haven't landed any big combos, but that's that's all right. That's uh, 
that's not the main objective. Round Let's go with fight. this. Counter strike. Okay, you already start your big combo. Let's see if you land a punch now. Okay, so you're making some changes there. Interesting. Alright, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. You can go with a full color epic combo. Round fight! You have at least one more counter strike. I'm sure of that. And if you have a counter strike, the last one, we can probably go down. <laughs> so, crossing fingers. Alright, because this could be interesting. Yeah, there you go. 15 damage. Good. Good, good, good. Now the question is, are we going for a final blow? Yeah, the damage that we're doing is not that tremendous in case he's using Counter-Strike. Okay, we land in six. That's good. Let's see what is going to be the... Okay, two more damage. Oh, so you decide to use this round. Oh, Counter-Strike. I'm sure it's the last one. I'm 100% sure. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Victory. That was a rough battle against Mitch. But, uh, well, one more time, it is, it is important to get to know your opponent, see the, the wild cards that the opponent by default is going to have on his deck, and also the, the combos. So you can play around around that information and try to be successful in Cobra Kai Carfighter. Fellas, this is the Game Hunter signing off. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.